So I was in the marketplace for a microphone, and I had a small budget. While cruising Amazon.ca, I came across this cheap lapel mic. So I figured, well, it's seven dollars. May as well try it. The mic arrived in a small Ziploc baggie. Initially, it looked promising. Then I saw that the plastic holder for the mic had broke, so I had to make do and run the wire through the little alligator clip that holds the mic in place. It was a decent fix, and allowed me to walk around as I recorded. Another point that may be a turnoff for some is the cable for the mic is really long, five feet long. Although the mic doesn't feel cheap and is made out of metal, it definitely sounds cheap. Build quality gets a four out of five. While the construction quality was pretty good, that's not the only part to determine whether a microphone is usable or not. While the construction quality was pretty good, that's not the only part to determine whether a microphone is usable or not. The mic is alright for clarity. I can at least understand what I'm saying. Downsides are, one, the mic is really good at picking up background noise. Chances are, if you can hear it, so can the mic. Personally, I don't prefer that, as it can get annoying trying to record audio with it. The second downside is, The mic has something wrong with it, as it will randomly start making some rather strange noises as I am midway through recording. Bad connection or poor internal build quality, I'll never know. But it's a problem. Recording quality gets a 2 out of 5. So, this mic cost me $7. That's it. Trip to the local burger joint is more than that. And it shipped right to my door. So unless you're looking up to see the poverty line and don't have the money to rub two nickels together, I'd recommend skipping this microphone. It's alright for the price, but that price should be free. Value gets a 3 out of 5. Overall the microphone is alright. It's an alright microphone for a beginner who isn't ready to work with a microphone worth more than them. It's a nice way to ease into the world of recording audio. Although, if you're planning to put more than an ounce of seriousness into a piece of work, I would recommend saving the money for a higher quality microphone. There are a lot of better options out there. Overall score is 8 out of 15, which isn't awful, but could be better, which accurately describes this piece of subpar technology. While well, I don't regret buying it, I wish I had saved money to get something that was a bit more decent. So, this microphone isn't what I would call an awesome microphone, but it's not what I'd call a terrible microphone either. It's kind of a middle of the road, cheap microphone. So, if you can afford something better, get it. Okay, I'm recording a little bit of bonus behind the scenes audio, whatever. So, <clears throat> I had to record literally half of it a third time because the microphone got all buggered up and trashed a good half the audio. So, needless to say, my rating would drop from an 8 out of 15, probably close to a 5 out of 15. So, would I recommend this microphone? No, no. Definitely not. You may be asking how I get to Well, I'm doing the old hide in your room under a blanket so no one can see how alone you are and you don't have to interact with anyone trick. Pretty effective when it comes to trying to be an introvert and when trying to record. <laughs> <laughs>